Howdy there, folks and UCCNC users. Uh, this will be another update for ProBit for UCNC. Uh, spent the last week or so working on the, the, the routines that work in the XC or do a surface scan. Um, if you've been playing around with the demo I put out about a week and a half ago or so, you'll notice that it, the XZ stuff wasn't working. I'm still working at it, but I thought I'd show where it's at and give a little demo today. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, on this little cast Spartan head we've looked at before, I'm going to go in and run a couple of surface scans back and forth, and then I'll do a perimeter round, and I'll show the data opened up in Diffusion 360. So with the Xbox controller, I'm just going to jog roughly into a position. I'm pretty excited. I've got a new computer out in the shop that will actually multitask and do a few things at once. So hopefully this video turns out a little better than the past ones. So what I've done is I've, I've, I'm have i on uh, the negative X side of this object. X is going uh, to the right in this picture here. I'm going to set it up so that it starts at an angle of 270, which which means if you're looking at this little diagram here, 270 says it's going to probe straight down, whereas if you told it to do zero, it would probe against the part in the orientation we're currently sitting in. As far as a couple of options here, I've got a couple of toggles here currently for if you want to go forwards um, in positive X or in reverse in negative X. And also a toggle if you want to save your DXF data as a straight XZ data, or if you want to translate it into XY. That would save you the step of, uh, if you want to open it to a program like vCarve, Aspire, or just uh, AutoCAD, if you open up XZ data in there, you'll just see a straight line. You won't see your, your profile because you're looking at it out of plane. So this will translate it for you beforehand. Um, so we've got our third angle, a small step over 20 thou I've set up. Uh, back off is how far to retract after it touches. Probe distance is after it's backed off, it's going to travel 60 thou. Again, towards the part. And I've set a feed rate of 12 inches per minute. So let's fire it up and see how it goes. Uh, this message box is just troubleshooting stuff that'll go away in the future. So this routine works very much like the, the XY perimeter routine, except it's in the XZ plane. So it's always trying to probe squarely against the surface and compensating as it goes. Just making sure I turned on the recording. It'd be silly not to be recording it. So as you can see, it's, it's telling you every time it grabs a piece of data and confirming that it did record some elements. Uh, to the DXF file, and at the same time, it's also recording data into both a CSV and a perimeter, which is really just a point cloud text file. Um, I'll probably relabel that. So I don't have any current fancy stop routine yet, so I'm just going to hit abort. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to manually jog it in Y a little bit. And then I'm going to toggle it to go in reverse direction and just start it up again. And 
and some of those pop-up boxes you see, uh, you can turn on and off what's called error messages. It just kind of tells you in the background what's happening. So depending on your usage of if you're trying to really do a 3D surface scan or if you're just trying to get a rough profile of a shape, uh, these routines are probably quite a bit quicker than doing the, the um, point cloud, sort of a bed of nails probing approach that's on the, the surface and grid probing tab. And every once in a while you run into a spot where it gets hung up, but it's okay. You just jog it off the part and no harm, no foul. You just restart it and you'll get the data still into the same file. All right, picking up where we left off, we just ran a couple of XZ scans across the part back and forth. Now we're gonna switch over to the XY tab. Um, I'm going to jog manually, pick up a spot kind of as far around near the clamp to this part that I can. There we go. That probably looks about as close as I can get things. So what I'm doing is I'm starting up basically above the part in Y here. Uh, so we're on the XY tab. I'm going to tell it to start probing again in 270 because I want to head towards negative Y. And I'm going to keep all the same settings as what I had doing in the XZ plane and just say go. So we'll just let this run around and record the profile all the way until I get to the other side of the clamp. And then we'll take a look at the data and see what we got. There you can kind of see as the probe tip comes out from around behind the part, how the routine hugs the, the part wall and basically just tries to maintain a square angle to the part. And so the bulkier fidelity and the data you get is in the step over size. That's, that's how far between points along the edge that it moves. So what it told me there was it just uh, had a direction change because it kind of missed. Um, that you can toggle off. If we go to probe setup, turn off error messages. Now all those sorts of messages are just gonna happen in the background, you won't be notified.
And we're in the home stretch now, so a few more minutes of this, I'll stop it, and then we'll, we'll save the data off and look at it in uh, Fusion. So I haven't quite figured out how to deal with uh, the 3D DXF data in Fusion yet. I'm hoping there's uh, can figure out a way to stitch it together in surfaces and whatnot. Um, Certainly it's good for creating profiles to start geometry from for extruding and whatnot if you're just trying to duplicate a shape. So there we've just about come around. We're coming up on the clamp. I'm just gonna manually stop it by aborting the probe cycle. There we go. I'll just manually jog it away a little bit. Now over here, we've got all three of the file types. We're just gonna hit save. And let's call this Spartan XYZ test one. And save that off. I'm just gonna hide UCNC for a second. Push this guy out of the way. Let's start up Fusion. And I'm also gonna go and just into the output folder. Let's just look at the DXF in uh, Lightburn 2, see what we got. So it looks like in Lightburn, Lightburn automatically translates the data into to the XY plane for you unless I happen to have forgotten to toggle the plane. I sure did. I should have uh, saved the XZ data as XZ for what we were gonna do in uh, Fusion. So let's, uh, so here you can see you translated the XZ data into the XY plane. You've got the full perimeter of the XY trace if we go into Fusion, we can do an insert, DXF, pick a plane, and let's load that up. And there's all the data that's brought in. Say OK there. And you can see that uh, it did indeed put the, those two traces across the surface in the XY plane. So uh, mistakes are good opportunities to learn here. Let's put this away for a second. Put that guy away. And let's just go back into uh, probe it and UCC and C. So what I'll do is I'm just gonna go back and record some more data into the XZ plane like I should have in the first place. And again, I'm just manually positioning things with the Xbox controller in my hand, so you can't see what I'm doing. But um, So let's start off again. We're going to probe in 270 as the start angle. Again, we just want to go straight down. Uh, I've put it as XZ data this time. We're going to go reverse again because I'm on positive X side. Oops. And sometimes the first hit... I was just not quite close enough. There we go. Thank you. 
There we go. We'll just abort that. Let's do one more trace just for fun. I'll come down here over his nose. We'll do a positive direction. Tell it to go. not hard to get it going again and keep taking data right where you were so you really don't lose any time and we'll just abort that so now we'll have a second file we'll save this we'll call it Spartan XYZ test 2 so now we got two files Let's hide this again So if we go back in here and open up file two in uh, Lightburn, we should just see some straight lines. Yep, so now everything's in the XZ plane. You don't see anything interesting because your profile is out of plane here. So we'll get rid of that. Let's open up Fusion again. back in here let's insert a DXF again same plane let's open up test 2 first okay there's our two traces so these are made in the the XZ plane with Z being along the green axis here we'll say okay let's do another insert Let's bring in on the same plane our first set of data. And there we go. So this will give you an idea that eventually you can kind of wireframe up the whole 3D surface. Uh, we got a couple of the sets of data here. We could delete those. Those were recorded in the XY plane accidentally, but uh, this should give you an idea of what you can collect with Probit, how you can work with the data. Um, again, a few hiccups to get rid of, like some of the connecting lines here. Um, I should have told it to break the line there, but I can go ahead and just delete that stuff as it reached the table, get rid of those, we got connecting lines here from where we restarted a couple of times, get rid of that stuff, but yeah, there's our Spartan head, thanks for watching, hopefully I'll be able to get some of this stuff fixed up a little better and get it implemented in the, the next version for download pretty soon. So.